What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have tried Blue Apron for the very first time. Went through the whole experience, got this meal shipped directly to my house. I actually picked something that I had never made before so that I could learn how to make it. So super detailed, gave me everything that I needed to know to make my first enchiladas. Now I feel like I know the basic process so I can kind of replicate this recipe in the future using other ingredients if I'd like. Everything came super fresh, really fast, on time. 
I have to say I'm pretty happy with the amount of food. Shane and I are really big eaters, so this is a serving for four people, but for Shane and I, it might be like one serving for each of us. Again, we have really large appetites. So this was just one, obviously, of the many recipes that they had. You could choose from vegetarian options, two servings, four servings, wellness options, premium options. They have like 600 calories or less options, Weight Watchers approved, carb conscious options, so a lot of different things. They also give you the option to skip a week if you need to skip a week. You can also customize, so you can kind of like remove and add different ingredients based on like your taste. So super easy, super stress-free, didn't have to think about anything, didn't have to go to the store for anything. I also went ahead and added a link to Blue Apron in the description of the video with this week's menu. And by using my link, you can save $80 off your first four boxes. Okay guys, enough chatting, let's get into it. Pork, chorizo, enchiladas, Olay. I'm very excited. Again, this is my first enchilada experience. You know, I kind of want to just pick them up and eat them with my hands. Should I do it? We'll try a fork and knife situation first. These are easy on my pan, my little wooden fork and knife situation. Ah. All right, guys, I'm starving. This looks delicious. Let's get into it. <laughs> Such an enormous bite. What am I thinking? Mmm. Mmm. That chorizo has a really nice amount of spice in it. It's giving the whole roof of my mouth the tingles. I love that there's like a layer of everything at the bottom too. Tons of flavor, guys. I'm really impressed. The other thing that I really, really appreciated about the recipe is that it reminded you to season your food throughout the cooking process. I feel like so many recipes leave that out, said to season when the peppers went in. Obviously the chorizo is really good and seasoned already, but you, you season the peppers, you season the tomato sauce. It even had me season the sour cream that went on top here with salt and pepper. So very impressed by that. And as a result, this dish is incredibly flavorful. You can taste every single ingredient and that's thanks to salt. I feel like I'm doing all right with the fork and knife. Maybe I'll switch. Maybe I'll switch. Also, did you guys know that red peppers have more vitamin C than oranges? They've got almost double the amount of vitamin C that's cooked. I have to look into raw, how much vitamin C they have raw, but just goes to show it's not just the poster child for every like vitamin, mineral that's necessarily giving you the most of it. Mm. 
I actually created lists. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about my fitness program before, Cake 2. I made lists of every single micronutrient, every vitamin and mineral. And it was actually like really surprising when I was doing all this research and putting these lists together. Cause you'd think like, again, like certain foods are just inherently like at the very top, like bananas are supposed to be like super high in potassium, but they're like pretty low on that top 10 scale. So now it's like every single time I have a pepper, I'm like, mmm, getting it. Immunity. Kitten, hold on, okay? You're gonna eat. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute, it's okay. <laughs> hmm. I haven't even taken any of the sour cream yet. It's been in the center. So good with sour cream. There's so much spice. And that chorizo, the sour cream really just tones it down a little bit. It does a really nice job balancing out that flavor. I'm really impressed, guys. I'm a pretty harsh critic. <laughs> When it comes to like meal delivery services, any of these like food in a box, I think I always worried that the food was gonna come and it wasn't gonna be fresh or that the recipe wasn't gonna be good. But this was super easy. Again, everything came really fresh looking. The produce especially just looked very fresh and this tastes delicious. I was afraid to look down. So I just booked my last plane ticket. I told you guys I'm headed to Florida and then Connecticut and New York. So I just bought my plane ticket to come home from New York back to Minnesota. So I'll be in New York from May, whatever that Monday is, but I come back May 7th, which is a Friday. So what is that? First? Is that what, is that, what that Monday is? May 1st? Ooh, and I've got something really exciting coming up for Cinco de Mayo, guys. I gotta film that before I leave, but I've just, like, had something saved for, like, I don't know, six or seven months now. I'm like, this'll be for Cinco de Mayo. It's finally almost here.
Gosh, margaritas are just so good, especially with enchiladas. So another reason that I chose this recipe today is that 100% of Blue Apron's pork is raised in group housing, which is better for the pig. It's more humane, so that's why I decided to use pork today. Just over here trying to make responsible decisions. I'm really happy to see that different companies are working towards um, better animal welfare practices. As you know, Shane and I have just started buying all of our meats from a local farmer here. So anyways, I go off on these tangents. I cannot keep up with what I'm trying to tell you. So I'll be in New York, long story short. And I think I'm gonna film one video while I'm there. And I'd really love to do a Chinatown crawl. Just feature bunch of different Chinatown or as many as I could possibly like the stomach in one day. I think I'll just do like a one day thing. But yeah, I really wanted to highlight New York City's Chinatown show support. Also, I love Chinese food. Like I love it. It looked so pretty. I know it's not that we don't have good Chinese food here in the cities. We do. But there's more of it, more variety in New York City. So I'm super excited. I think I may have a tour guide, I think. So I'm especially excited to be shown around by somebody who really, really knows her stuff. So get excited for that. I'm also gonna be doing some car videos in Tampa with my rental car. That'll be exciting. I get messages from you guys sometimes that are like, how do you take such large bites? Is that even enjoyable for you? I'm worried you're gonna choke. Valid, valid reason to worry. I know, baby. It's almost time for you. Mm -hmm. I just absolutely love large bites. I love them. They're like a mouth hug. I think I've said that to you guys before, a mouth hug. It's just so comforting to have like an enormous bite of food, especially pasta. But yeah, just like in any instance, I'm like, I love big bites. I feel like I really get the full experience that way. All right, I get to have at least one more because that's half and I really should leave the other half for Shane, right? 
Okay, turn. I know what you want. I know you're hungry. But it's early. Did your brother eat all your foods? Did he? Butters, I swear. Where is he? This knife's actually working out. What is happening out there? Somebody sounds upset. Once I thought that, that like somebody was like really upset, there was like all this honking, and it was like a drive-by birthday party. <laughs> It was like last year during quarantine. I was like, oh, that's much better reason for beeping. Those were the days. It's funny because it's not like COVID-19 is like gone anywhere, but things have certainly changed this time last year to now. Shane's side does not look pretty anymore. Sorry for Shane. Mm. Mm. I hope this isn't too spicy for Shane. Shane is a wimp. You guys know this when it comes to spice. I mean, things could be a level zero spicy and you could find it spicy. For me, this is perfect. It's really not like crazy spicy. It just has that little bit of heat so it doesn't like interfere with me enjoying it. That's like a huge pet peeve of mine. When food is so spicy that it just like hurts to eat it. You know what I mean? It's just not fun anymore after a certain point. And I am like jealous of people that can tolerate higher amounts of spice, you know? I just wanna know what that's like. You know, I want to experience like a level 10 spicy from somebody's mouth that can tolerate it. Like, do they taste the food differently? Or is it like me eating like a level four spicy? Really curious about that. Kitten. The poor thing. He 
He's got enough fat on him to last him like a solid month. What's happening down there? All right guys, well, I am gonna save the rest for Shane. I wanna be fair to him. This was absolutely delicious. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm always super skeptical of delivery services like these, but again, like everything was super fresh. The chorizo had like great flavor. The instructions were spot on, telling you to season everything every step of the way, which I loved. Yeah, guys, this made it super duper easy. Didn't have to go to the grocery store, didn't have to think about anything, and I put something together that was really delicious and could feed really a family of four pretty quickly. So again, if you guys want to try Blue Apron out for yourself, I have a link in the description of the video so that you can get $80 off your first four boxes. And the link also will show you this week's menu as well. Okay, then. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. You know, this sponsored content um, really helps make me be able to do this. So I especially appreciate you guys watching these sponsored videos even more than my regular videos. It just really means a lot. I absolutely love spending my, my life putting together this type of content for you. It makes me so happy to see you guys so happy. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much. Comment below what you thought about this recipe. Would you guys try this particular recipe from Blue Apron? Have you guys ordered from Blue Apron before? Comment below all of the things. I wanna know your experience. If you've even used another delivery service and you've maybe used Blue Apron against another one. Comment below all of your thoughts about that. Meanwhile, I'm excited to make more enchiladas now that I know how to make them. So comment below any like interesting like types of enchiladas that you think I should do. I like feel a braised beef one in my future or breakfast, a breakfast enchilada. That would be delicious. All right, guys, thank you so much again for watching today, and I will see you guys next time. I can't do that today. What's my deal? <laughs> Bye, guys.